What's up guys, Louis Gott here with EXP Realty and we are back. Now, if you watched the first video in this series, we went through the Eisenhower matrix and how to decide which areas your tasks should be in, what you should be spending time on your business in, what you should be doing, deciding, delegating and deleting. So if you haven't watched that yet, go back and check it out. If you have watched it, I'm presuming that you've done your homework here and now you're crystal clear about what you should be working on. Now. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the most important box in this matrix, which is box number two here, and it's your decide. And we call this the money box. So let's move this over right here. And we're just going to say money box. So this is box number two. Uh, and it's the money box is because this is where you can truly grow your business. If you can start to figure out how to use this properly, this is where every single week you can start attacking targets and you will compress your year so greatly that you'll get more done in a month than you typically would have been able to get done in a year. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down tasks effectively in this one. So box number two, like I said, where things that we're going to decide when to build in our business. Again, they're not urgent. They don't need to be done today or my business is going to burn to the ground, but they are things that we want to achieve in the future. But with these kinds of ideas and tasks, a lot of times we just try and attack them um, head on. And what typically happens is we might get some momentum and then it just crashes and burns and it dies and we forget about it and we move on. So let's look at an example that I was um, coaching one of my uh, agents with the other day. They wanted to start using TikTok, okay? Because obviously TikTok is a huge platform on social media now. A lot of realtors have seen a ton of success. Um, but what he was typically going to do was just start a TikTok account and just go for it, right? And that may be fine for some people, but for most people, what's going to happen is they're going to lose momentum in what they're doing. So let's kind of take a look at kind of what this looks like. So for TikTok here, let's just say TikTok. So he wants to go from here. So he's right here right now. Boom. And he doesn't really know what he's doing. And he wants to be here right here, which is the king of TikTok. All right. So basically, he wants to be dialed in with TikTok. He wants to get it up and running for his business. He wants to go through different programs and get it on autopilot so that it is enhancing, is lead generating, and is building his business. So you can see between here and here, there's a ginormous gulf, right? So we have to address what's going on here. So let's draw out this gulf right here. The target, the path from not knowing what to do to becoming the king of TikTok for him is pretty large. This gulf is pretty big. And what I'm saying is typically what he would have done in the past is he would have just gone for it, right? We, we think that we can just attack this head on and just go straight up. And all of a sudden, we've achieved our goal. This is awesome. I'm on TikTok. I'm crushing it, right? But if we're honest with ourselves, what happens is we start on this trajectory like this when we have an idea and it's like, okay, here we go. This is going to go. And then it starts to dip off. Boom. And then maybe up again. Oh, all the way down. And I forgot about TikTok this week. And um, then all of a sudden, we're all over the place. We're up and down. We're going all over here. Maybe we spike again because we got a resurgence. And basically, we end up right around here. And if you're being ruthlessly honest with yourself, which I hope you are, you know what I'm talking about. This doesn't have to be TikTok. It could be any part of our business that we're like, you know what we should do. Here's a great idea. Let's go for it. We start off with all this energy and then it starts dipping, okay? Because we don't see immediate results and we haven't really transparently gone through all the correct things to do. So there's a better way to do this, guys. And I'm going to show you that right now. So what we have to do first is to really break down like what exactly is it like, how do we go from not having TikTok to having TikTok and being good at it, right? What do we actually need to build? There's a bunch of stuff, right? So let's just look at things. We have to start an account, right? Easy. 
After that, we have to start our branding, make sure it's coherent with all of our other platforms and everything that we are pushing out on social media. Then we have to figure out what we're going to do for content. And, you know, are we going to do home tours, property tours? Are we going to talk about the market? Like, what's our content even going to look like? Uh, okay, from there, we have to figure out, okay, when are we going to post? So we're going to post once a week, twice a week, every day, twice a day. What does that look like? Okay, there's no right or wrong answer, but what are we going to do? We have to have a strategy in place. And then the last one is engagement. What are we going to do for this? How are we going to get into the community on that platform and engage people so they come to our platform, our page, and use it and, and, and start to know, like, and trust us? So there's a lot of things here, right? And there could be even more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Say there's seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? And what you need to do is start brainstorming on these tasks. So we're going to break everything down into smaller details because smaller chunks is how you attack these things head on. If we just try and do one big task, it's just going to fall apart. We have to break it down for a couple reasons. One, our brain can process it easier. And two, we have the energy capability and energy management to actually get these smaller tasks done. It's way easier to do five small tasks than one big task at once. So then what we do, if there's 10 things here, all we're going to do is start to build it out, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we have stepping stones towards the goal. So instead of trying to go straight forward, we're going to go here, 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 and we're going to move all the way along until we reach our final destination which is the king of TikTok, okay? Um, and once we've reached that goal, now we can actually say we achieved it, okay? But it's not just um, it's not just quite as simple as that because that's great in theory, but what we have to do now is really start to break these things down, okay? So now we've got our 10 steps to get there, right? We've got our 10 main things. We have to start an account. We have to get our branding our content, our scheduling, engagement. But it's not like you can just sit down and be like, okay, um, I'm going to get my content today. Like, that's not how it's done, okay? Figuring out content takes actually a lot more. So you have to, again, start breaking this down. So let's take our content, boom, right here. What are we going to have to do to figure out content? Well, what's our, you know, our, our niche? What do we specialize in? What do we do? What about our market? What are our competitors doing? What are the courses that we can take for these things? So now you can see that even just with this, this one part here, now we have all this stuff that we can do towards it. So you see how breaking all this stuff down becomes way less um just invasive like to do it doesn't just take over everything it means we can strategically do it so now what we're seeing is instead of just going for one thing we're breaking it all down so now i'm going to say okay cool if i've done all my time management in place and i'm figuring out what tasks to make now i know that like okay monday i've got time i'm going to work on my niche and that's all I'm going to work on, or my niche in my market. Okay, I'm going to work on maybe I do uh, referrals, okay, or maybe I do probate or divorce or whatever it is that you do, okay, my niche there. I'm going to start to break out all those boxes and write down what I do for my niche. Again, breaking that down here. Here's all my niche stuff that I do. I do probate, okay, how do you work in probate? How do you explain probate? What about lawyers? What do you need? You know, what power of attorneys do you need to sell a probate home? So start to break down all that content, start to break down all the market conditions, what's going on. So now you have a full database that instead of just shooting in the dark and going for it and losing momentum, now you have so much different content available to you that you can start progressively pushing forward with your social media and with TikTok. Okay. And again, this is just an example with TikTok because that's what we were talking about uh, with the agent I was working with, but this could be anything. This could be your accounting processes. 
you know, this could be open house strategies, this could be agent attraction, this could be whatever, whatever it is, you have to take time to break down these parts. And this is why this is the money box. Because if we just shot this in the dark, and we're like, we're gonna go for it. Again, you're going to lose that momentum. And it was just not worthwhile in the first place. If you take your time, break this stuff down, and actually just start achieving it in little steps, you're going to get to this place right here about 10 times quicker than you could have done it if you had just gone straight shot. Probably quicker than that, honestly. And what you'll find is that not only do you get there quicker, but you get there with a way more robust business and a system and a strategy to make sure that you're going to keep on doing it and it just becomes part of your business. And this is a huge piece of the puzzle for me when I'm building out strategies and systems and processes in my business. I break it down as small as humanly possible. And this could be, you know, again, anything could be your CRM, okay? Like I just switched my CRM from KV Core to Chime. And again, I went through this, I broke this all down. I can't just take everything out of KV Core and just throw it into Chime and hope that it all works. Now I had to break down all the different steps I had to take to make sure that it was going to switch like that and my clients would still be getting the level of service that they were getting before. So there was a lot I had to do in breaking all of this stuff down. So hopefully that makes sense. And really what I love to do is once you've built out a system for this box number two, this money box, typically when it's working, then you can start to delegate it and take it back to box number three. So the Eisenhower matrix keeps on working in the background. We focus our efforts on this box number two. And when it's up and running, we move it into box number three to get delegate it and only do the things that we need to do. So for, for instance, for social media, I only film my videos and then I send it out and I don't see it again until it's ready to post. Okay, there's a lot of different systems I've built in that. But like, that's the goal. That's the goal for you is to come back to the Eisenhower, figure out the things that are going to move your business forward, that are really going to build it. And then once it's all built and running, then you delegate it out to your VA and whoever is going to be working in your business with you. Uh, and that's a huge piece of the puzzle. The last thing I'll say for these ones, guys, for your box number two, for the decide box, for the things that you're going to be work on, working on in this kind of manner, these should all correlate to your goals, okay? Uh, and it's one thing that we do focus on here is, is goal setting. Um, if you haven't read a book called The 12-Week Year, it's huge. It's all about how to set goals and how to do more in a quarter than most people do in a full year. And it's the, the, the method that I subscribe to when it comes to goal setting and working on my business. But everything in box number two, should correlate to your quarterly goal. Okay, that's the one caveat that I didn't mention yet. So everything that I'm putting in box number two right now has to correlate to my goal. So if my goal is, hey, I want to set up a new strategy for cold calling, whatever it is, then everything that I'm putting in there has to go towards that and so on and so forth, whatever those goals may be for you. It can't even doesn't even have to be real estate. It could be family related, health related, whatever that is but that has to correlate in box number two, okay? So I'm still doing the things that I need to do day in, day out with my business so it doesn't burn to the ground, but this stuff is the stuff that's getting me towards my goals, my dreams, what I want to achieve in life. This is what this box is for. That's why it's called the money box and everything out here, I don't touch, okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to jam out about this. Or if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, drop it in the comments. I'm happy to jump in this stuff too. But this is the stuff that builds businesses. And when you go from just being an agent with you know your, the blinkers on, just trying to put out fires left, right, and center, working in this industry where we just react to everything, to strategically working like this on business building blocks, it will change your entire future. And that is no exaggeration. I've seen it happen with myself. I've seen it happens with the agents that I work with. Once you figure out how to play this game of the money box and the productivity box, this is where businesses are built. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Please feel free to reach out to me on any social media platforms and however you want to do it. I'm always here to help and I hope you have a good one.